Emma Lloyd. I'm Business Development Director at Sky and I also look after all of our mobile products. We have a wide range of services across, um, as you'd expect, a broad range of devices. They include um, our mobile websites at one end of the spectrum where sports and news are the big drivers of that and where we have you know, several, several million customers that regularly use our services on, just on those websites. And then moving through to the, to the apps um, and the mobile TV. So mobile TV we've had in the marketplace for over five years now, directly through the operators. And more recently, uh, we've launched our first direct, con direct consumer service through our iPhone app. And that iPhone app sits now as part of a portfolio of eight other apps. We, we, we have got a pretty big portfolio now of apps. Um, and they, yeah, they range from ones that use very little data up to those obviously that are, that are streaming at bit rates that range from 70 kilobits a second that will give you just an audio stream and if you're on a on a um, you know a very limited um, connection you'll be able to get that all the way up to 480 kilobits a second which is our highest stream for mobile tv and that you would expect to get if you're on a wi-fi connection what we've seen is that um, that about 70 to 80 percent of all of the, the mobile TV consumed on the iPhone is actually over Wi-Fi. So that would imply that customers are actually seeking out Wi-Fi hotspots or they're using Wi-Fi at home to watch, um, watch those games. Um, and so in that um, scenario, then 3G really is, is sort of the edge case. You know, if you're really um, desperate to, to catch part of a live event, then customers are, are going on to 3G, but that's not, not what the majority of customers are using it for, which is interesting. On the main TV platform, the Super Sunday um, days will get by far the biggest um, numbers of viewers. On the mobile TV platform, we see the opposite. So we get the highest numbers of, of viewers to our TV during the, the midweek games and our lowest numbers on, on days like that, which would indicate that, that um, certainly at the weekend when you're more likely to be able to, to get to your main TV screen, then you're going to watch that on the biggest screen available to you, which I think for us is, is really important because it means that our customers are getting more value out of their subscription by being able to watch more football games than they would have done if they didn't have access to it on their, on their iPhone or 3G handset. If you're a, if you're a dual sports customer, um, at the moment you don't pay anything to get access to our mobile TV service on the iPhone. Um, and so, you know, to enable us to, to run those kind of promotions and over time to, to bring some of these services together, we need to know who that customer is, we need to know what relationship they have with Sky for other services, and that's something that we can really only do through applications where we have that, that um, direct uh, relationship. Um, but there's still an important role to play in the way in which we offer mobile TV through the operators, because as I say, you know, there's, it's going to be a long time before everybody's got a smartphone. We're, we're always looking to see how we can deliver uh, the best possible experience for the customers. And that, that does mean always looking at what technology is coming down the path. So, you know, looking at, at the kind of... Um, bit rates that LTE is going to be able to support and equally at the other end looking at what compression technologies are going to be able to do to, to enable us to improve the quality. Um, so I think that's something that as Sky that's just in our DNA we're always going to be looking for, for a way in which we can give our customers the best experience and you know maybe in five years time you will be able to watch Sky Sports in 3D on a, on a tablet or on a smartphone but obviously you know will we'll be, we've got the content there, as you know, it's already available in, in Sky Pubs and it's launching for consumers uh, later this year. So it's natural for us to be, sort of, to be striving to do that on any platform. Yeah, it's certainly unrealistic at the moment to expect over a, over a 3G bearer to do things in excess of, of the sort of 480 kilobits a second that we currently 
make available through our adaptive bitrate solution for, for iPhone. And as I say, I think most of our customers probably will only get that higher bit rate if they're, if they're on Wi-Fi. Um, but yeah, we, we, we're certainly on the lookout for things that would enable us to, to head up in the HD 3D, 3D uh, arena. And of course, there's always the ability potentially to, to sideload content as well and, and you know, look at, at pushing content when you're in the home. Um, onto these devices and therefore, you know, not certainly not um, not needing to, to rely on a 3G connection to do that. We've come from a history where where we worked with the operators um, to for them to zero rate the data at a point in time when these flat rate data bundles didn't exist. As we've migrated onto devices like the iPhone, where there are flat rate data bundles. Um, and we're just one of many applications, you know, we sit alongside YouTube and hundreds of other apps that, that consume data. I think, it's, I think it's very difficult for one application provider, therefore, to, to give the customer um, a service that, that effectively enables them to track where they are against their, their limit. And that is a role for O2 to play, and I think that what they've done with that app um, is, go, is certainly going in the right direction. I currently use two phones, an iPhone and a Blackberry and an iPad, although that's obviously not technically a phone. So at the moment I've just, just uh, bought myself a very expensive racing bike. So the Team Sky application which has the GPS um, map my rides in it is getting quite regular usage. <laughs> um, Sky News is just, I just use that every morning and every night. I do all of my shopping on Ocado on the iPhone app. I won't touch the website now, I don't like it because I'm so you know, I've got everything set up in the Ocado app on my iPhone um, for my weekly shop, and it's just I find it a lot easier to, to use that. Um, so if I lost my iPhone, then, then my children probably would go hungry, because that actually has been quite transformational in the way that my fridge manages to get fuller than it was before.